So I've made some progress on this machine here. Uh, first, I painted the middle shelf here because uh, there was just a piece of plywood in there and it looked really ratty after I don't know how many years it has been in there. And uh, I was very concerned about the uh, bottom uh, legs here. They stuck out a bit too far considering how heavy this machine is and they bent a little bit whenever I pushed the machine around. So I added an extra shelf at the bottom uh, that is screwed directly to the wheel mounts to stiffen up this whole thing. The wheels themselves have also been replaced. There were polymer wheels before and they had already failed due to the weight of this machine. And this is now a set of metal wheels. Next, the uh, build plate here was only mounted with two 1024 screws and a washer to hold them down. Uh, that was of course insufficient. And so I made proper mounting plates now to adapt the mounting holds on the trucks with the mounting holds on this build plate. The uh, build plate on, uh, on this is mounted on the right on this side and on the, uh, on the other side it's mounted uh, towards the left so that the mounting is just going across in this direction. Uh, it feels like it's very stiff in this direction. If it turns out to be a weakness, I'll add another truck on each side. Um, this works at the moment because one of the linear axes here is much longer than the other one. So I don't really lose any travel distance uh, due to the way this is done right now. These cables used to just kind of lie on the table. I have added this mounting system for a cable chain. And uh, so this is uh, properly done now. At least the cables don't get snagged up in the machinery. And uh, finally, uh, of course, all the electronics are done. The drives on the left are stepper drives from uh, Gecko Drive and they are missing the top covers right now because I had to set the jumpers. Um, also new, I got this uh, breakout board for the smooth stepper because I just like to have some, uh, I like to have some, uh, what do you call these, uh, screw terminals to put the wires into. And this all works now. Um, ignore all this on the right hand side with the exception of this. This right here is the power supply um, for the low voltage um, to supply the uh, stepper components here. Uh, this right here is for the spindle. Uh, the spindle is a normal routing spindle, which I have changed into a shunt wound motor. And so I now need two sources of voltage and these are them. So with this, I can change the RPMs on the motor uh, from you know very low to very high. And uh, that basically maintains the, uh, the torque of the spindle, even when it only has very low RPMs. And here a test move of all three axes together. 